How much force must be applied to an object such that it gains 100 joules over a displacement of 20.0 meters? Okay, here's where we're going to use the work energy equation, which is where your initial energy plus the work done will equal your final energy. Now we're trying to solve for the force. So we're going to substitute in for work force times the displacement parallel then the next step we're going to start isolating the uh, force. You can see here where we switch from D parallel to F parallel. It really doesn't matter where you put the parallel, just as long as you know that the we're talking about a force that is parallel to the displacement, which actually wasn't explicitly stated here, but let's assume that's what was wanted. So we have now the force is the final energy minus the initial divided by the displacement. Since it didn't give an initial energy, we may assume that it's zero joules. They would have to give us a number, and if they don't, we just say it's zero joules. So we have 100 joules minus zero joules divided by 20 meters, and we get 5.00 newtons. Let's just look at sig figs for, an ex for a second here. Over here, this is three significant figures. When you specifically put a zero like this to the right of the decimal point, that's significant. This number here, in addition, this has four significant figures. One, two, three, four. So our answer has to have the least amount of significant figures of the two uh, input data points. So we're only allowed to have three, and that would be 5.00 newtons.